Morning folks, just sat in the car. Monday morning, it's been snowing but it's not settled. Just waiting for Gemma to come back from school with the kids and then we're off into the unit. Down to the brewery to make some amazing beer tanks. We're in the chaps, we're in. Yeah, hey, that's like the uh, clocking in bell, starting school bell. So I'm going to start this morning with a couple of thank yous and plugs, effectively. So, the first one is going out to uh, Andy and the crew at GC Supplies, company based in Manchester, link below, and they supply this kind of stuff. These are the guys who provide all of this stainless steel tackle, and if you guys need any stainless parts, stainless fittings, RJT, Hygienic, uh, tri clamp, all that kind of stuff, they're the guys to speak to. So, li link in the description. Secondly, big shout to Matt at Keg Kingdom. Go and check him out for any homebrew equipment or anything like that. He's the guy who pointed GC Supplies to our channel. And also, I want to say a massive thanks to a good friend of mine, Ollie, for providing some safety equipment. Okay, gentlemen and ladies. So today I am going to sketch out where the cooling jacket is going to go on the fermenter and it's basically going to be a 750 by 500 mil plate with a little back and forth maze on the inside and glycol will run through that, uh, that area and through conductive cooling chill the beer inside the tank. It worked on the last ones that I built. One of the important things is not to have the plate run over the main seam because thermal shock, expansion, contraction and so on could cause a problem with that seam, cause a split or a hairline crack or anything like that. Chances are it won't, but it could. And if I ever need to reflow any of that seam, I've not checked it if it's watertight yet, you know, nothing's been checked, I'll have to remove the cooling plate, which I don't want to do. So, from the edge, of that seam, we're going to come in about an inch or 25 mil, and then we're going to measure it around the tank 750 millimeters, which pixels about there. Now, the reason we've gone for 750 mil is because 750. Oh, let's do the math. I'm sure there will be some of you wondering why we're going to have the dimensions of the glycol tank like they are with, with it looking like this and we're going to have 500 by 750 and that's quite simple really. Sheets of stainless steel come in 2 meters by 1 meter so if I cut a 750 piece and a 750 piece then that in total gives me 1500 and then I cut that down there at 500 so I've got one two three four and then this section here is going to be 500 wide by a meter so if I cut that off at 750 then I can get five cooling jacket backs out of one sheet of stainless steel. So that's the plan. Could have made them slightly bigger and thinner or slightly longer. I could have made them slightly longer and thinner uh, but I think that's probably the best way and then I'll have just a little 250 by 500 off cut. What do you think? Good moves. This is the top. And we've got the side, I'm going to come round on the bottom and back up again. So we can see how the glycol is going to flow around, it has to come down, back around, down again, back around here, down finally and across until it's going to exit the tank there.
can see, it's looking pretty smart, it's tacked. That's all it is, it's just tacked. So I have to put the zigzags on there and go inside, back it off, and obviously put the full weld on the outside. It will need backing off because the tacks have all, all burnt through. But in the meantime, I paid for this last night, and here it is, the very next day. GC Supplies, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot shout them enough. Top company, top draw. What more do you want? Here's my concentric reducers, and then down in the bottom, we have the two inch, male male, RJT butterfly valves. These are what I had on the RVB kit as well. I would have liked to have kept some of them, but obviously we had to sell it in the liquidation sale. But these are top draw. They really are the dog's danglies. And that's Little Onions, folks. That's shallot. We have it on. We have the glycol cooling matrix on entry here. As you can see, the glycol will run across and down. Across and down, across and down, across, and then we'll have an exit port over there. She looketh pretty goodeth, I thinketh. But first, Stuart's coming down. We have to nip out to meet a mate of mine, to meet a mate of mine. And he's got a workbench for us. I've not seen it, it's free, and it's probably worth picking up he said there are a few vices and stuff on there so I'm gonna go and have a look at it and if it's any good me and Stuart are gonna load it into the back of the van bring it down here and then pick up some copper pipe en route all right Stu's picked me up we are on the way to uh, the allotment where this where this lovely lovely workbench is right we've arrived at the lotties Right, are you free to have a buzz over the workshop? Yeah, what for? I need some copper pipe to back some of these welds off. Okay. Hello, screw fix, my old friend. away so I need a piece of copper pipe about 750 mil flattened out to turn it into a backing bar for the weld I've bashed the flat on the uh, on the vice with the anvil section and a lump hammer and she's come out pretty good and she's flexible I think she's gonna bend nicely around the inside of that tank so that's a minimum clearance of about one millimeter pop her in reverse There we have it, I did make a bit of a mistake by putting it through 
the roller too tight and it put a curve in it sideways because it stretched the metal on one side. But I think that's good enough. That's definitely good enough. So the plan is, plan is for us to wedge this copper tight up against that weld to act as backing for the inside while we weld the outside. And I think it's flexible enough to do that. Anyway guys, it is Monday and it's three o'clock. So as close as we've got with this section, that's all we're gonna be able to do here, I think. So I've gotta go and pick up the kids and we'll see you again on tomorrow's vlog. Oh,